Hey guys, what's up? This video is brought to you by Linode. If you guys are looking to get into web hosting, I've been using Linode for all my websites for the last eight years. They have a new product called Linode Object Storage that you guys might want to take a look at. They actually have free storage all the way until May 31st of this year, 2020. Uh, this is my own personal Linode account. You can see that I'm eligible for this upgrade and I can just simply add a bucket, uh, pick a region that I wanted to run out of. And there's regions all over the, the world, by the way. So if you guys need a lot of data storage for things like machine learning or artificial intelligence projects, make sure you give that a look. There's also a $20 discount in the link below. Hey guys, what's up? So the other day I was looking into compilers and I'm not sure how I stumbled upon it. I read a blog and then I ended up looking into a project called the LLVM project. And I've heard about this a lot, but I don't write processors. And for the most part, I'm not writing languages and not building core libraries for things like Rust and all these other projects that are out there right now. But um, anyway, I've never really dealt with it, so I was looking into it and I was trying to kind of wrap my head around why does this thing exist and why is it so like popular? And the problem breaks down where you have a PC, like your normal PC, and this has its own processor. So you have all these different processors like AMD. Uh, there's other processors like Intel. And then these speak ones and zeros to the computer, whatever sort of device you're on. It could be an Android phone, whatever it is, um, it, it speaks to that. So then you have things like assembly, which is a higher level language that speaks to these processors. And then from there, you look at something like how does LLVM come into place? Well, uh, LLVM is actually created with C++ which is actually created with C, and C was created from something called B, and B was created from assembly uh, around the same time that other languages like Fortran. Anyway, the point is I find it interesting that LLVM is the compiler that is it's really the modern day wrapper to make your life easier when it comes to dealing with different chipsets and making sure whatever sort of language that you're running on is going to compile its bytecode to something that the machine understands. And then just beyond that, I found it interesting that all the compilers these days are written in C. And I couldn't really find any examples of any modern languages that are not C-based. Like I mentioned, Rust is using OCaml originally, which is C-based, as well as C++. And there's that concept of bootstrapping in computer science that's somewhat confusing, but the compilers can make new compilers and they can make new versions of themselves and basically it all boils down to the fact that you have ones and zeros at the computer level we now have these different chips so we have things that are that's called assembly or assembler that is written for these chipsets and we have higher level tools like llvm these days that are used around that that particular process if we look back into the history we're looking at like assembly, like I said, to like Fortran, that dominated the industry for a long time. And then in the 70s, you get C. And really, C wasn't built from assembly. Um, nowadays, they say that C was a bootstrap language, which means that a compiler is um, creating new versions of itself uh, through its compilation process. And eventually, you can say that a language is compiled from itself. That process is called bootstrapping for anybody that has never heard of that. But then this, these modern days, okay, so all these, basically all modern day compilers are C because from here you have like C++ and like I said, that's what LLVM's using. And then um, you have also Python. And then you also have things like JavaScript. So then with JavaScript you have things like uh, TypeScript, right? So you get that. My, my typing is terrible or my handwriting is terrible on this board. I, I'm not used to it. And then um, also from like even with Java, right? You have Java bytecode now that comes from C really. And then you have languages like Kotlin uh, as well as like Scala, which is uh, all, all JVM based languages. So it all derives, though, from C, which is the amazing thing, I think, uh, and the point that I'm trying to drill home. So I also find it interesting that as is, is, is important as C is, like I never really hear about C a whole lot. You don't hear uh, any YouTubers talking about, oh, guys, learn C. There might be a couple, but like 
you don't really hear about it. And even in the, the like the job world, we don't really hear about it. But ultimately, everything revolves around it. Like even the Chromium engine for this Chrome browser that I'm viewing this TOB index website on was written in C++, which was originally written in C. And like here you see the TOB index is representing C pretty well. But uh, although they have C as like the second most popular language, like there's definitely not that many jobs in it. So you guys might be asking, like, are there any languages that are not written in C? And again, it's going to be very, very difficult to find one that doesn't have, like, its original compiler or its original compiler's original compiler that has some sort of C um, lineage. But the Lisp programming language is one language that is not C-based. But basically these days it's few and far between that, that you can find anything that's not based on C. And I think that pretty much is going to solidify Dennis Ritchie as like the best programmer of all time. Like people talk about Linus Torvalds and or, um, and other programmers, but I mean I can't imagine like when it like I guess when all said and done, Den Dennis Ritchie is going to get a lot of credit. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. I hope everybody's taking care of themselves. And for those looking to code, if you guys want to go on the coding journey with me, uh, check out my website. I got all these different courses available. There's also different promotions where you can just pay one price and get access to everything.